Oh, okay, this is CBSC Math and CRE Solutions, Chapter Number Four, Exercise Four Point One, Question Number Two, Chapter is Quadratic Equations. Now the question is represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. We will be given one situation and what and we will need to form a quadratic equation according to the given conditions. Well, let's start with it. Now the first question is the area of rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth. Okay, let breadth of rectangular plot is equal to x meters and let length of rectangular plot is equal to 2x plus 1 meters because it is given that the length is one more than twice its breadth and that's one more than twice its breadth twice of breadth is 2x and it's one more than that now area of any rectangular field is equal to length into breadth so the area is given to us which is 528 and length is 2x plus 1 and breadth is x here so we get something like 528 equal to 2x square plus x and we have quadratic equation 2x square plus x minus 528 equal to 0 this is the answer because this is a quadratic equation and they were just asking us to make a quadratic equation from this given condition now the next number is the next question is the product of two consecutive numbers is 306 we need to find the integers let first number equal to x let second number equal to x plus 1 it's given that their product is equal to 306 because these are consecutive that's why the difference between these two is just one so we get here x square plus x equal to 306 now i will take this 306 to the left hand side so i get x square plus x minus 306 equal to zero here and this is quadratic equation and they are just asking us to make a quadratic equation from given condition so we actually don't need to solve it but if we solve this quadratic equation you will get the you will get what are those numbers whose product is equal to 3 or 6 but you can leave your answer to this point and you will get full marks now coming to the next question Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him so and the product of their ages after 3 years will be 3 or 360 now we want to make a quadratic equation according to this condition okay let's start let age of rohan equal to x years and let age of rohan's mother equal to x plus 26 years because his mother is 26 years older than him so her age would be x plus 26 now after three years age of Rohan would be equal to x plus three years and after three years age of Rohan's mother would be x plus 26 plus 3 and it's equal to x plus 29 years now it's given to us that product of their ages after 3 years is equal to x plus 3 times x times 29 it's equal to 360 it's given to us now we can solve this we need to multiply these two terms and it's equal to x squared plus 29x plus 3x and 3 times 29 is 87 equal to 360 here now I can write this equal x squared 29x plus 3x is equal to 32x 
and 87 minus 360 and it's equal to 7 here uh, 5 7 273 so minus 273 equals 0 this is the final answer Now coming to the question number 4, a train travels a distance of 480 km at uniform speed. The train travels at a distance of 480 km at, at uniform speed. If speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. Okay, let's speed of train. equal to x kilometer per hour now the dis we have a formula here um, distance is equal to speed multiplied by time we know that similarly we can adjust these variables or we can write speed is equal to distance divided by time or we can write time is equal to distance divided by speed we all know that Now distance is given to us, it's equal to 480 kilometers. Now they are saying that if the speed had been 8 km per hour less, let's, okay, time taken by train, to cover 480 kilometers, to cover 480 kilometers. If, if speed is x kilometer per hour then time would be 480 divided by x hours now if the speed is this, the second condition we will make is from this condition if speed is 8 kilometer per hour less and the time taken by train to cover 480 km if speed is 8 km per hour less which means it's x minus 8 km per hour now it would be equal to 480 divided by x minus 8 hours now it's given to us that so we have these two times now 480 divided by x And we have 480x minus 8. Now it's given to us that if speed had been 8 km per hour less, then it would have taken 3 hours more. So we have this thing more. So if the right hand side is more than the left hand side, so we will add 3 to this side to make them equal. So we need to solve this now. So we I can take this term to the right hand side, 480 divided by x minus 8 minus 480 divided by x and it's equal to 480 common I can write x minus 8 here minus 1 over x here is equal to 480 the LCM of this x and x minus 8 would be x x minus 8 and I'll get x here because this whole LCM divided by this denominator which is x times 1 I get x here and this whole LCM divided by this term denominator I get x minus 8 and x minus 8 times 1 is x minus 8 so I get here 3 equal to 480 x minus x plus 8 divided by x times x minus 8 here so it's equal to 3 equal to 480 this x and x gets cancelled so I, I just uh, I'm just left with 8 here so x times x minus 8 x square minus 8x now I can multiply this term with 3 so I get 3x square minus 24x equal to 480 times 8 3840
I get 3840 and here I get 3x square minus 24x I take this 3840 to the left hand side this is the final equation I can still divide it by 3 to make it further reduced I, I can divide this whole equation by 3 it will be equal to x square minus 8x minus 1 8 0 equal. I'm dividing this whole equation by 3 so the final equation would be x square minus 8x minus 1280 equal to 0 and this is the final equation and that's it in the next video I'll be covering question number 3 chapter 4 quantity equations access 4.1 okay see you guys